Hi friends, please subscribe, give it a like and let's go. The psychic replied. I cannot tell that but I do know you will die on a Ukrainian holiday. Putin asked. Which holiday? Whichever day you die will be a Ukrainian holiday. <laughs> Did you hear that Putin won the election with 76.6% .6 of the vote last time? Funnily enough, the exact same percent you will give yourself when the teacher says that you could mark her own tests and you didn't want to look suspicious. <laughs> Russian Prime Minister Mishustin comes to Putin and nervously tells him to abolish time zones. I fly to another city, call home, and everyone is asleep. I woke you up at 4 a.m., but I thought it was only evening. I called Olaf Scholz to congratulate him on his birthday and he told me he had it yesterday. I wish the Chinese president a happy new year, and he says it will be tomorrow. Putin replies. Indeed. But that's only minor stuff. Remember when that plane crashed with Prigozhin on board? I called his family to express my condolences, but the plane hadn't taken off yet. <laughs> <laughs> Vladimir Putin and Kim Jong-un have a meeting. They took place on a skyscraper in Moscow. Putin and Kim sat on a table facing each other, while a bodyguard stood behind them each. Putin and Kim argued about whose bodyguard is more loyal. To show his loyalty, Putin ordered his bodyguard to jump out of the window. His bodyguard was surprised and bewildered. After some hesitation, he knelt his knee over his president and cried. Please spare me, my president. I have a wife and children. Putin felt sorry. He patted his shoulder and told him it was just a joke. Watching them, Kim snorted and ordered his bodyguard to jump out of the window. His bodyguard was surprised and bewildered, but soon he shouted and ran to the window. Putin was surprised. He ran and grabbed that bodyguard, yelling. Are you crazy? We're at Skyscraper. Then the bodyguard yelled, with fear in his eyes. Get off me. I have a wife and children. <laughs>